Hi there, hungry nuts with a set. How are you doing? It is Thursday, the 28th of March, 2024. Soon be Easter, be Easter on Sunday, on the 31st of this month. And I think the clocks go back as well, don't they? I think the clocks go back as well, whenever. So it'll be, it'll be lighty, or it'll be brighter at nights for, well, for quite a while at nights. Summer's coming, well, meant to be, because that's the start of summer time, is it? When the clocks go back. Um, but you, would, you wouldn't you would think that today, because it's absolutely miserable here in Dundee, Scotland. It is freezing. It's only like five, five degrees or something here. It's freezing cold, and it's very, very stormy. Right, what else can I talk about? Well, I was going to go down the town today into the city centre and go to the big Megastore Sports Direct because I'm after football shorts. I fancied getting myself a pair of football shorts because, um, yeah, I just fancied getting myself a couple of pair. But I could have sworn I bought a couple of pair just the other year and I couldn't have found them. But then I went up to the spare bedroom that David sometimes sleeps in if he stays over uh, and I was tidying up and uh, I went into the drawers, my units that have not been in for ages, and I found found football shorts, four pairs, four brand new pairs of football shorts, um, not a great make, Son, is it Sondico or something, or Sondica, something like that, so I got four pairs of football shorts in different colours, blue, navy blue, got one navy blue, I think I've got three, no, two black ones, shouldn't have done that, two, two black ones, let's do that there, two black ones and uh, blue, Striped ones. So that's my football shorts sorted. Really wanted them because I've got an exercise bike, a computer bike, and I need to start using it again. It's a really good state of the art exercise bike that I got. got it, I think I must have got it about two years ago. It was during the COVID, near the end of the COVID. And David got us it. And um, it sits out in my hall. It sits out in my hall. And it's got a computer on it. And you just plug it in and it does all this programs, you know like going up hills and everything, so it's pretty cool. So I'll need to start using it. Right, what else have I been up to? Well, Skittles is lying there, and he's sleeping, and it's cold. And last night, he was upstairs in my bedroom, and he was he jumped right on my bed under the covers because he knew I had my electric blanket on, and he got all cosy and warm. And so did I. So I had a good night's sleep. Not very often I hear good night's sleep, but last night I slept pretty well. And I got up pretty early this morning, and I decided to go and take Skittles out when the shops opened, farm food stores, which is just down the road from us. I was down at farm foods yesterday. I went away down again today, uh, took Skittles with us, and I had to, I had to also buy electric, electric for my electricity meter. I'm on a pay-as-you-go meter. So I picked up a few items, I'm going to show you one just now and I'll be showing you another one later on in my next video. But in this video, I'm going to show you these. And it's not very often I buy Walker's crisps, you know the Walker's. But I thought, oh, quite fancy these ones. Look at this. Unreal, unreal flavour. Win a £2,500 payday every day. God, that would be great, eh? Wouldn't mind that every day, two and a half thousand pounds every day. I could barely buy myself anything. I'm a, I'm a money that I do have goes on bottles and food. But there's a lot of people like hungry nuts here, like me, who are in the same boat. But imagine t imagine having two and a half thousand pounds every day. I'd buy myself I'd buy myself disco equipment and start up a disco. Start doing discos again in the old age. I'd love I'd love to have some money so that I could buy your disco equipment. But I don't. <laughs> so I'll just say I keep wishing. Uh, unless I become really famous on YouTube. Unless somebody wants to give me money. If there's a millionaire out there that says, Oh, I feel sorry for Hungry Nuts. And he's on about buying some disco stuff. They might, they might just say, Here's some money for you. But I doubt that very much. I doubt that very much. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, they've always got these things on their bags, walkers, win this, win that. I wonder who does actually win these things. You never ever see them on TV, the people that win these things, you know. 
Uh, walkers, one, two and a half grand, paid here if you dare, no bad there. Anyway, get back to these cusps. Uh, a five pack, used to get six pack, five pack, but things are cutting down all the time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why? Because they're vegan. Vegan crisps. Walker's vegan crisps. I thought our crisps were sort of vegan. I don't know. Or is it just a, a gimmick? Flame grilled steak. Flame grilled steak. Limited edition flavour. I got these on special offer for farm food today. Five pack of these for... 79 pence. They were on special offer, as I said. Uh, I'm going to get my magnifying glass and tell you the ingredients. It's in my before I test them. But yeah, vegan Chris. I thought our Chris were vegan. Anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients. We have potatoes. Well, it is potato crisps, so we do have potatoes. We've got sunflower oil. We've got flame grilled steak, which is salt, flavour and sugar. Uh, potassium chloride, acid, citric acid, spices, colours, paprika extract and vegetable carbon, which I've not actually heard of that much in crisp vegetable carbon. Uh, allergy advice may contain milk, wheat, gluten, barley, soya, celery, mustard. Well, that's a big allergy, is that? If it contains all that. So I'll say the allergy again. Milk, wheat, gluten, barley, soya, celery, mustard. At Walkers, we relentlessly pursue the best, freshest, tastiest, crunchiest crisps. But if we didn't nail it this time, please contact us. Facebook or this address. Yes. Okay, dokie. Let's get into these. Eh? What else does it say? 100% quality ingredients, fresh taste guaranteed. No added MSGs, artificial colours or preservatives. Suitable for vegans. Jumping on the bandwagon like a lot of companies. Suitable for vegans. Right, I've got a bag here. No tried them yet. 24 grams in a bag. God, they're no half going down that. I can remember when a packet of crisps used to be 40 grams and that was for a one serving. And then they went down to 30. Lidl's crisps. A lot of Lidl's crisps are 30 grams in a bag. But these walkers. Look at the size of that bag. Look how empty it is. It's half empty. They're on about cellphones. You know, like foil bags and that. About, uh, and I'm trying to cut back on all this plastic and foil and everything. I'm sure they could. I'm sure they easily could buy that much. That they can make their bags that size. But instead they're making their bags that size. Because people are thinking they're getting loads of crisps. Only to realise it's 24 grams. There, yeah, anyway. Vegan flame grilled steak. Limited edition flavour. Let's try them. The smell. The smell like, um, I don't know if you've had that. If you're in a different country and you get a bovrol, which is a beefy sort of drink. It smells like bovrol. They actually taste like bovrol. Chris, you used to get bovrol crisps years ago if you've ever had them. They're no salty. They're no salty. I have noticed the potato is really dry. Really dry potato. That reminds me a bit like um, the Scottish company Marcus Chris. Marcus Chris are dry, and you usually need a glass of juice beer or a beer or a drink, you know. But well, these are dry. Um, you'd need a glass of juice, I think, for these. Oh, I'm missing my mouth. Imagine missing my big mouth. Are they any good? They're okay. They're okay. Um, they're just stuffy dry. That's, that's a bit all I could eat just now. They're really dry. Um, what else can I tell you about them before I go? 
The fat per pack is 4.9 grams, saturates is 0.4 grams, sugar is 0.3 grams and salt is 0.26 grams. Um, I've got a red for the fat which is 7%, your salt is 4%, energy per 100 grams, that's not 100 grams, so is 1955k. Anyway, Walker's Vegan Flame Drunk Steak Crisps. They're not very good. They're not very good, they're not very tasty. I suppose, well, for what I paid for 79p, I suppose it's okay for five bags of crisps, but they're, maybe that's why they were reduced. Right, that's it, I'll get going just now. They're, they're not great. They're not great, that's my opinion. You might like them. But if you ever see them, give them a go. Give them a go if you see them. Um, right, that's that. I'll be back with another video very soon. And in my next video, it's going to be... It's going to be another snack. And it's going to be an, an Indian snack from a bag. You don't cook it. They're already cooked. And uh, I'll do that in the next video. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but... Um, I'll do it in my next video and show you them. And uh, I'll tell you something else. They actually look a bit like Skittles, dog snacks. I buy dog snacks that look quite the same as this snack, this Indian snack that I'll show you in my next video. Right, I'll get going just now. Listen, thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. It means an awful lot. It, does, it, it, it really does make me happy that I'm getting subscribers out there uh, and also getting views. Thank you once again. Have a super Thursday. Keep warm if you're cold here in Dundee or somewhere across the UK because it is cold. It is cold. Try and keep as warm as you can. I've got my stove on. I'll show you my stove before I go. I've got my wee stove on, didn't I? See ya. And, uh, because I bought some electricity because I've not been wasting my money. I've been buying food. I've been buying quite a lot of food. I've been buying snacks and that. Um, yeah, David came up before I go. David came up drunk again. He came out of taxi and I says, You're not getting in the house because he want, his money's run out and he hasn't gave us anything. He usually like, pays his back, but he's not paying his back. So he, he said, I need to get a pair of trousers. So they went, they went Well, they're in that spare room where you leave some of your stuff. So he went upstairs. I don't know if he went away and got trousers or, or if it was just an excuse for me to say I'll just stay, but. I, it says, well, hurry up and get your trousers and we'll see you later. So he's away, um, fed up with the drinking, and I'm actually getting things done. I'm organised. I'm actually going to the shop. I'm actually going down to farm foods and getting food, proper food and treats, and taking skittles out. And my house is organised. My house is all tidy. So um, I just can't be bothered to be Dave at drinking all the time. It's just that's just no good. It's no good. He's not got any money again, and that's him again for like another two weeks without money. And he's expecting me to subsidise him. Is that the word? You know, like buy him drinking that and feed him, and it's not happening. Um, at the end of the day, David's got a big family, you know, and I've not got any family. You know, I'm just I've just got me and my doggy. I've just got me and my doggy because all my family have passed away, and uh, David's got a big family out there. You know, like, his mum and dad have died, of course, but he's got, like, three brothers and two sisters and that. So, um, yeah. So I'm organised, and that's that. And I'm going to get my, well, when I get my washing dry, I washed the football shorts I was telling you about. I'll not get them dry, but I've got them hanging out anyway. And uh, I'll get on my computer bike later on, tomorrow or that. In the meantime, take care once again. See you later. I've gibbered and gibbered, which means I've talked too much as usual. But who else do I have to talk to? Only you people out there on YouTube. But that's why I do my videos, because it makes me happy. Hoping that someone out there is listening to me. Probably I'll fall asleep now going, God almighty, I wish I was hungry, not so we'd shut up. Right, okay, well. See you later. Bye. Love yous.